Hey, this is MPLS Airsoft Brigade, and um, today we're going to take an overview of our battlefield. Alright, so what we have here first is kind of the bunker you'd first run to after the game starts. And when the game starts, there's people over at that far tree where it splits back there. And most of the time they come running to this bunker or somewhere over there. And this bunker, I know it doesn't look that great right now, but that's because the snow weighed it down and pushed it down. And But in the summertime, we're going to rebuild this, and it will look a lot better than it is right now. And there's another small bunk over here, and like that one, the snow collapses a little bit because it gets heavy after a while as it gets wetter. And, um, you know, some people come over here if you want to kind of stay away from the general crowd so they're not all shooting at you. Um, over here, there's a cluster of trees. You can run on this little path over here, and you go behind that cluster of trees. Good cover right there. A lot of, a lot of BBs won't be able to penetrate that and go through the splits in the trees or anything. And I've used that before. I was pretty, pretty covered up. And over here is just kind of a, kind of a front kind of road here that you you can take a lot of fire coming through here. That's why it's kind of hard to get through here. There's some big trees, but they're pretty hard to get to. I've used it before and almost got my ass blown. Right here is a path that the attackers would go on. Well, we do attacker, defender. Attacker, I mean, defenders are up on that hill. And attackers start here. And they try and overrun the defender's positions. So, yeah, here's this, like, path we can go on to sneak. There's a collapsed bunker right over there. We'll get it fixed during the springtime. And... Right here is the dried out creek. Um, you can go under the bridge for some cover. And yeah, we'll move up to the defenders' positions. Right here are the defenders' positions. Right here is one of the collapsed bunkers. It's covering a lot of snow, so it's kind of hard to see. And right over there is right behind PD is a, another bunker. That one's still in good shape though. Yeah. And there's some large trees that get some cover behind. The hackers start right over there. You can see that bunker. And right around us is like a little creek bed so the attackers really can't uh, yeah. just go straight running forward. They have to either cross the bridge or on that path right there. Alright, we're here at uh, as what we would call the old place because we made this place a long time before the other place, which is over there. And the attackers would start up on this hill, kind of like midway up this hill. And the defenders would start over in those what we call foxholes, and they're like two giant like pits in the ground. And they provide a lot of cover by that big, huge tree, it's kind of tipped over. And a few of the offensive bunkers are this one right here. And you can kind of crouch in this little under scoop right there. And this one is a long bunker that goes down like this whole kind of ridge right here. And now you're probably thinking, wow, these bunkers are really small and collapsed. Well, that's just because the snow got wet and it got heavy and broke them all down. But these will look really nice in the spring. And so when we're sometimes doing attack and defender, people will go down here and then there's a way kind of following the river that goes up and behind here and people use that for a sneak path but now we're kind of used to people using it in the springtime so we check it off and make sure people aren't sneaking around this big huge log right here this has been down for well since we've actually built all the stuff here and this is just like a really good cover because you can crawl under it if you want it's tall enough they can hide behind it. Um, and, I mean, if I'm crouching down like this, cover my whole head. And there's also, there's a stepping stool right here so you can oh. hobble over it. Yeah, sorry, forgot that, yeah. When you're attacking and you want to make a rush, you can just step your foot right on here, hop right over this. Nothing to it. This little cluster right here, 
we don't use this for cover. It's just kind of fallen trees, hard to get through. Now back here, this is the ultimate defending spot. As you can see, a lot of large trees around that provide a lot of cover at most angles you're standing at. Like. These are the foxholes right here. You can fit a ton of people in them. Pretty deep down. A couple feet. It's a good shot of them right here. And if you go back even farther, you can. This is like where the defenders respawn if they get shot out. You can see how deep these are. Actually Slipped a little. And right over here, where I'm pointing, there's also a bunker right over there that collapsed. And sometimes you can actually go down this side of the hill, and there is some good logs that will provide good cover. I've used them before, you can even get shot.